Okay, hold on. Let me get in and check. <laughs> oh, they're all named Tej and Kim. All, all of them. How can I let this happen? Oh my god, I'm at a loss for words. Good lord. <laughs> told you I wouldn't be able to keep up the pace. Even if this video is only a couple days late compared to the rest, it's gonna be a relatively short video and that's for a couple reasons. Mainly because all the crashes I get while trying to work in Little Eden have begun corrupting quite a bit of my footage and the footage I have left is, well... The other reason is that I've run into a bit of a creative block with Little Eden. I had all the time in the world to think about what I wanted this zoo to be before the game came out, and it felt like I had a million things I needed to do, but I've begun to run into the end of the things I really had uh, solidly planned out. And not only that, but Little Eden has changed in its own way into something totally different than what I originally planned for it, so I'm, I'm even more at a loss now, and it's not that I'm done with Little Eden, it's just that I feel like I need to spend more time every update I put in to make it really feel special and planned and grounded, if that makes any sense. I, I want all of Little Eden to feel like I put plenty of time and thought and love into it, and that's gonna take a lot more time now that I've reached the frayed ends of my original planning phase. That being said, I do have someone coming into Little Eden to help get my creative juices flowing again. And I'm really excited to see how that all pans out, but I won't say too much about that yet. Um, because my time-lapse footage is all corrupted though, I'm gonna be doing my little nature talk over cinematic shots and real time today, so it's a little different than what I'm used to, but I, I hope it's still enjoyable. I want to start off talking about the general nature in this area. Uh, Yosemite is famous for its redwoods, very specifically its giant sequoias that line the western slopes of the Sierra Nevadas where Yosemite is located. They can live up to and over 3,000 years, with the oldest tree uh, being 3,500 years. Uh, these Redwoods make up the tallest trees in the world on average, as well as having the tallest tree in the world among their ranks living right here in California by the name of Hyperion, which is approximately 379.9 feet tall, or 115.7 meters, which I can actually demonstrate here for you in game. It's, it's crazy, it's the size of a skyscraper. However, my, my personal favorite tree native to the Sierra Nevada is definitely the ponderosa pine, and words cannot describe how happy I am that they're in Planet Zoo. They're a close runner-up uh, to the giant sequoias with the tallest ponderosa being 268.35 feet tall or 81.8 meters, uh, being declared the tallest pine tree in the world, uh, taller than even the sugar pines which previously held the world record, and typically grow around 40 feet taller than ponderosas. Uh, these trees are also the major species used for dendrochronology, I think is how it's pronounced, or uh, tree ring dating, because of the unique way that ponderosas form rings. 
Another one of my favorite little fun facts about pond roses is that they can easily be identified by their smell. Uh, the, the bark of a ponderosa pine smells like uh, vanilla or butterscotch, and it's, it's really kind of cute. Uh, <laughs> anyway, in this environment, ponderosas typically stand alongside uh, Douglas fir in a mixed forest, and all of these trees, the giant sequoias included, as well as other plants native to the Yosemite region, are uniquely adapted to survive and thrive off of fire. Uh, without the fires in this region, it's unlikely these ecosystems would survive. Ponderosas, for example, can survive even if all of its needles have been burnt off. They have a thick bark that protects the internals of the tree, the phloem layer. Another example of this fire ecology at work is the black oak tree, which has the ability to sprout vegetatively, meaning they can regrow from any root structure left behind if the tree's trunk is burnt or broken, as well as having seedlings that have a hard time sprouting in anything but nutrient-rich soil, which the aftermath of a fire will definitely provide. Uh, the giant sequoia trees as well rely on fire to open their serotonous or sealed cones uh, to remove duff from the ground which may hamper growth and to burn open the canopy to give their seedlings plenty of space and sunlight to grow up to that towering 280 foot average. There are even a group of wildflower species called fire followers which only germinate, bloom, or sprout after a fire, which creates this gorgeous, natural display of life and color in the wake of what some people may consider a disaster, but what you know now is a natural and beautiful part of Yosemite's ecology. Fires within Yosemite National Park are being controlled and monitored to maintain a healthy landscape and ecosystem that had been hampered by the human suppression of wildfires that occurred before research researchers really understood the part that fire had to play. Research only began on these Yosemite fires back in the 1930s, and since then we have they've demonstrated that they are an essential part to many plant and animal communities. In the last video I talked about how fires in meadows would prevent conifers from overtaking these essential parts of the ecosystem where plants and animals and insects would gather for an abundance of food and water, and that's just another example of why fire is an important part in the ecosystem here. And that's why I wanted to replicate an area like that here in Little Eden. I don't have any animals in here currently, but I have planned for this to be a pronghorn habitat, the only ungulates we have in the game that really live in America. And luckily for me, pronghorn antelope can be seen even here in Central California, so they'll they'll fit in just fine in Little Eden. Uh, I, I don't, like I said, there's no pronghorns in here quite yet, so I'll save all their fun facts for another video, but I think that about wraps up this video. A, a long story short, fire ecology is rad, and I just wanted an excuse to talk about it. Uh, the next video on Little Eden will be a special one, so hang on, I, I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> I'll like it at least. And with that, I'll leave you with some cinematics. Uh, tune in for the next one.